Hey guys, what's up? Finch here. Today we're back with another Are You Live? I'm revving my US Northeast avatar because the World Cup of Pokemon has begun, but more importantly, let's look at this team we're using today. We're using Golurk. It's using a set with um, Trick and Klutz, so it's going to be able to abuse the ability Klutz, which basically negates the effects of items, and it can trick a Flame Orb without people knowing it as a Flame Orb onto their Pokemon, which is just really cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the best defensive typing or bulk, so getting it in is going to be hard. It may only happen a couple of times, but what's also cool about it is with access to Poltergeist, it's able to assure they have the item with the trick of the Flame Orb. So yeah, it's a really tricky set, one could say. In addition, we also have one of the more interesting Dragapult set that we're seeing develop, a physical Dragonfin variant, which is nice to take advantage of things like Chansey. Um, and also, it synergizes really nicely with Trick Golurk, in my eyes. And then we have a pretty standard defensive core with Mandibuzz and Amoogus. And then also to round things out, we got Specs Magirna with Trick, because you can't have enough Trick users, why the hell not? And last but not least, an Adamant Bulk Up Sucker Punch Cinderace. So yeah, let's get into the game here. First off, we're against In the Membrane, they're 1842, all right. Using a team with Karam, which we actually look pretty weak to. Um, yes, good artists. Anyway, um, Diggersby, Hatterene, Gengar, Togekiss, and Mew. So it looks like a pretty menacing team, all things considered. As for possible leads, I don't really know if we can get Golurk in much, so we're going to try and lead it against Mew and see what we can do here. We're going to get that right. Now we're just going to go for a Poltergeist. Um, love him in offense. That was cool. Um, anyway, yeah, sorry, this is responding to a person giving me. But yeah, I agree, it is a bop. Um, anyway, let's talk about Pokemon that music. So yeah, we're going to go for the Poltergeist turn one. We're going to do a whole million to that Mew. But Red Card's going to get us out to Mandibuzz, which is actually a Defogger, which is great. So we can Roost here, predict the... Oh, it's Thunder Wave? Well, I didn't need Flare Blitz. Okay, I guess it's not Flare Blitz. That's interesting. Um, yeah, we're just going to Defog. He taunts us. That's fine. Now we could U-turn here on that. Okay. And that's fine. We'll probably go to our Heavy Duty Boots Cinderace. It looks really good. And he doesn't know Gengar's quicker. And he doesn't know if we're banded or not. He goes Togekiss. That means it's Scarf Togekiss. Okay. We're going to go for Magirna now. Air slashes, yeah, that's definitely scarf. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna throw out his back slur cannon. It should be able to pick up a kill here. Um, even if he goes Gengar, honestly, it's probably gonna be like seventy five percent. So if if he, if he doesn't go Gengar, it's gonna pick up a kill though. So that's pretty dope. Um, yeah, we're gonna um, probably ignore Specs next battle. I'll just ignore it. I'm not gonna bother. I've already engaged. Yeah, Diggersby's gonna die easy. All right, we're at minus one, so um, we could probably do a lot to something like Hatterene. Or he's gonna do a Gengar. Um, hmm. We're going to go Mandibuzz on this, because I don't... Oh, Nasty Plotted? Okay. So he's probably going to go... Um, we don't need this. We'll just defog in case he doesn't have Thunderbolt. He sludge waves, we live. And we get the defog off. That's really great. Now we're just going to go for the foul play. Um, just want to accept this PM. No problem. Um, yeah. Okay, he goes sludge wave. Take us out. That's perfect. So now we go Dragon Darts. And in case this is like a random sash, we can still break it. So we're going to go for that. And yeah, it's going to take it out in two hits. And that's great. So now we're up... Five to three. He it does have the Hatterene, though. We got to be careful against. Um, all right. We're going to go ahead and go for a U-turn here. And we're going to bring in the Golurk once more. i um, feeling like that's a good play. He might go for Draining, because I don't think he could kill us in one shot, though. And he goes Calm Mind. Yeah, that's perfect. We're just going to click the uh, Poltergeist here. It should be able to take this out and also to a like, kill either switch. And he goes Jerem, which, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And we're going to probably do, like, 60. 64. Okay. Um... Looks like a pretty useless among us. We're going to toss it out to a likely Ice Beam. And he does indeed go for Ice Beam. That is fine with me. That's going to allow us to go to our Cinderace and click a Pyro Ball and get a kill here. Um, might not take you off Fizzler Defense Saturine, but I don't know that he could kill us in one hit if he's Fizzler Defensive. So yeah. Um, now I assume he's probably going to go Togekiss. So we're probably just going to stay in here and Pyro Ball whatever comes out against us, honestly. He does go Tokyo, so I'd love to get some damage off on this with Pyro Ball. He goes for the Scarf Air Slash, just short of a Tokyo, given that roll. And we're just going to stand and try and go for it again. And, um, oh wow, that's actually delightful. Um, we're going to go ahead and go for a Soccer Punch here. He misses Air Slash, that's amazing. Now we're going to go for it again. He might go Hatterene. No, he doesn't even bother. Okay, that's really cool. Um, so we can also get a Pyro Ball off into that, but honestly, with Trick Magirna, there's no way we're losing. And yeah, it's a good game. So Golik would have cleaned that out anyway. Um, so yeah. It's a great start to this live, um, but let's keep it going, guys. Um, we're trying to use Golurk, so game one, it was able to not only get a, almost a kill on Mew, but also chip the Kyurem into range, so it's a pretty damn good start, if you're asking me, um, my opinion. Anyway, um, let me know what you think of these kind of cool um, applications of Trick in the SSC metagame. We're seeing it on Pokemon like Magirna, which previously didn't have access to Trick last generation, and now I'm using it on Golurk, which is pretty dope in my eyes. Um, yeah, what else can use it, and why do you think it would be effective in doing so? Personally, I've theorized an Alakazam with Trick, Nasty Plot, Psychic, and Focus Blast, which I think is cool if you're able to trick things like Magirna 
and Mandibuzz and Corviknight and Chansey. And sometimes that is able to cripple them more than knockoff. And in addition to that, against Hyper Offense, having a Scarf Alkazam in a non-pursuit metagame is pretty dope. So I'd say that's definitely worth trying out, but I haven't gotten around to trying it out yet, unfortunately. Anyway, it looks like we're facing a team with Elite Drakion. So we're going to go ahead and leap Golark here. He's going to go Drakion. Yep, we're just going to go Earthquake turn one. Um, bro, you're recording. That's not your business, Starry. Um, we're just going to Earthquake here. Yeah, now I'll pull the guys in case he switches. I'm hoping he goes to the Grims now right after this. Um, actually, Earthquake hits everything hard. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, taunt. Okay, so we can't trick, unfortunately. Um, hmm. I'm thinking he just goes to the uh, the Grims now. But I'm wondering if he's going to predict the man. Oh, he goes to Zoom real. Okay. Then we're just going to go um, Poltergeist here. Yeah. He belly drums. Is that going to take it out? It doesn't. Oh, it, oh crap. He's quicker. Oh, I misplayed that really badly, guys. My bad. Um, this fine note, the purpose of our Magirna spread is specifically to live this at plus six. And it's going to be able to, it's going to be fine. Um, we just need to figure out what we want to fodder here. Um, it's looking like Mandibuzz is to go. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we're going to let go of Mandibuzz. It's fine. Um, we'll just foul play here. Yeah, and now we're going to go to this and we're just going to click the Volt Switch. It should be able to take it off from 75 because we're specs. So yeah, as you see, we always live that. And we're going to take that out with the Volt Switch. Crit didn't matter. I'm specs. Um, yeah, that's great. So now, looking at his Pokemon left, um, we're actually just going to go Golurk. Yeah, I see no reason why not to. It's probably going to bait into Urshifu. And it, actually, that wasn't our best idea. Yeah. Um, in hindsight, um, we'll just throw out the Magirna, though. It's fine. He goes Wicked Blow. Yeah, that's fine by me. We can go Amoongus here and claim a Sleep here, um, which is really, really helpful. Because something being asleep is great. He goes Grim's Narrow. That's fine. Um, we're going to go Stun Spear here predicting the switch. And we catch the... Oh, we missed the Volk. Damn, that's unfortunate. Well, alrighty. That's okay. Let's just go out to our Dragapult now. As he goes Fire Blast. Now we're going to predict the Magirna and go for a U-turn here. Um, oh, he stays? Ah, oh, man. And his Psychic drops us. Uh, well, we're quicker. So we can go for the Admit Pyro Ball. It should be able to do really well here. Um, he goes Grim's Narrow. Okay, we're going to bulk up here. And hopefully he doesn't wake up. And if, okay, please don't wake up in this turn. Don't reflect. Don't wake up and reflect. Don't get a one turn sleep. We need this bulk up to win the game pretty much. Yeah, okay, that's amazing. Um, hmm. Because now we definitely kill any Magirna, even the bulky one. So he has to go Urshifu. Um, Urshifu versus a um, Cinderace that's adamant at plus one. Oh, we're just a little laggy. Um, plus one. It's not going to kill, is it? Yeah, no, it's not. Unfortunately, we don't have rocks up. So we can, however, get Amoongus in, and we're going to force Wicked Blow. To ch He's going to go for that. Okay. Um, I want to keep this alive. No, nah, actually, we don't. This is fine. You know, he's at 68, so we can go ahead and go out. To, well, Cinderace still doesn't kill. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go and go ahead for the Dragon Darts here now. Yeah. Oh, it's Scarf? Oh. Fuck. Oh, that's unfortunate, guys. Um, how's Scarf doing 48? Damn, that's really strong. Um, I didn't expect that, but yeah. Um, just really unfortunate stuff that we missed the Sunspawn Volk because it kind of led to this whole thing. But yeah, well played by the opponent. Um, we can't do anything now. Um, so yeah, he's going to win that. All right, no big deal. Um, I was expecting, like, bulk up because Scarf on Hyper Offense, when you already have, like, priority... And Pokemon the booster speed. I just I didn't really anticipate that. So yeah, that's my bad. Um, good game. Um, we definitely got unlucky there, but there were um there were things we could have done better. So next time we'll just try and do them better. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, let's keep going. Um, I'm just gonna close this PM out. Um, we still probably should be in the mid 1800s, which is not bad. You were 18. Oh, we're against a really bulky team here. So let's see what we can do here. Um, I'm gonna lead Golik here. Hopefully trying to get the trick off on the Chansey, Mandibuzz, or Hippowdon. Um, all of those, and if we get the Hippowdon or the, um, Mandibuzz, it's going to be really good for the Cinderace. In addition, Trick on the Chansey or Venusaur or Exadrill with the Magirna also looks good. So yeah, we're just tricking everything pretty much. <laughs> that, that's the game plan. Trick into Cripple into hopefully Outlast. He's going to lead Mandibuzz, so that means we're going to get the hell out of the way. Um, we're just going to go to our Amoongus here on the knockoff. And now we're going to go for, um... A spore in case he switches. I think he's gonna switch. Yeah, I don't think he's very bright on this. Yeah, he goes Venusaur. Okay, no big deal there. We'll just sludge bomb it. No harm in that. He sludge bombs us. We sludge bomb him. Now we're gonna go out to our Mandibuzz, and he leech sieges. Leech sieges. Okay, hopefully he scouts for Brave Bird here. 
Yeah, he goes clef. That's great for us. We can just U-turn, and now we're going to go to Golek here. Um, we're going to go rocks first. I'm hoping he stays. He goes Mandibuzz, though. Okay, he's going to defuck here, so we're going to trick. Yeah, and that's perfect, because now he gets to Flame Orb, which is just amazing. And we have Heavy Duty Boots. Um, we don't want this getting knocked off quite yet, because striking Heavy Duty Boots or something, like, Chansey could be cool. So, yeah, that's great. Now he's stuck with a Flame Orb. Um, now we're going to go ahead and go for a Sludge Bomb again. He goes Venusaur, so we're going to just keep chipping that around. Um, yeah, that works. Sludge Bomb, okay. Um, we'll go one more. He's probably not... Okay, he does a lot. So, yeah, we're going to go... Um, we're going to here now on the... Yeah, he's got recovery. Okay. We're just going to Volt. He leeches, but he's... um. Okay, that's perfect. So, yeah. Now we're going to bait in the... Um, we're going to bait in the Hippowdon. So we're going to go Maguna. And we're just going to go ahead for a Spectacular Cannon because it actually kills it. He goes Drill, though. Okay, that's a 70. So, yeah, he seems to scout for Specs, but not really because he didn't go to Venusaur. I don't know. I didn't have there either way. It does nothing. So we can just recover this off. Hopefully he doesn't go for the flinch. That'd be a really lame play. Um, leaves him in. Yeah, he goes Clef. That's a smart play. Okay. So now we're going to go for the U-turn here. We're going to claim our Regenerator. So he probably wishes. Yeah, he wishes. Okay. Um, I'm just going to claim a Stun Spore on it while I can. Actually, he's probably going to... Yeah, I, we'll, we'll Spore. Yeah. He goes Venusaur. Okay, that's chill with me. We'll just go McGearney here to claim our Regenerator. Yeah, and now we can just go for the Volt Switch again. Is he Leech Seeds? Yeah, I don't know why he keeps doing that. We're going to go Cinderace again. Now we're going to go back to McGearna. And um, we're going to trick this time predicting Chansey. Yeah, we got it. Okay, that's perfect. We're actually just going to go Focus Blast here. In case he tries and goes gets cute and goes Drill. And he does go Drill, and we connect. Okay, now we get plus one as well. Hi. Um, but yeah, this looks really good at this point. Um, we played this one really well, I'd say. Um, we just have to position our tricks nicely. And this is also going to kill here, as you see. Um, in a minute, if he doesn't switch. He might be baiting it, though. Yeah, he baits it. That's a great play by the opponent. But that still does 47, which is just crazy strong. And yeah, he's leech seeds, but he's slower. Who keeps PMing us? I recording. Yeah, no PMs right now, please, bro. Can pause later. All right, there we go. Yeah, but he keeps leech seeding, and we're quicker. Anyway, the hippo is still at full health. We're actually going to go ahead and change it up and go Dragapult this time. Hopefully to bait in the Clefable. Yeah, so let's U-turn here. He goes Clef. All right, so now... Now we're going to go Golurk here. We're just going to click Poltergeist. I think it should do a lot to this. He goes Mandibuzz. That's just 23. Okay. Um, we're just going to go ahead and um, rock here. Let's see Roosts. And now we're going to bait the Defog, which is going to allow us to go back to our Maguna. Yeah. And now um, we're just going to Volt Switch here. He goes Chansey. Okay. So we can go back to Golurk again. And we can just um, Stealth Rock. Yeah, I see no reason why not to. He was Toxic. Okay, that's a pretty good play. How do we take advantage of the Mand Buzz? We'll just go ahead and go to McGurna now. He's locked in the Toxic anyway. He goes Clef. Um, let me get, the, get those leftovers real quick. He goes Chansey. Okay, great play there. Um, damn, he got us. All right, we're just going to um, Volt Switch here predicting the uh, Venusaur. He stays? Oh, my God. He Seismic Toss, though. Um, that's fine. We'll just trick again. He goes Mand Buzz. Okay, and that's fine because now we just go back to McGurna here. Um, and now I can trick Flame Orb something else. So he goes Roost, and he can't stay in here for shit because we're Specs. And the chance he's also in 2 kill range. So we're just going to go, um, we're going to go Flare Cannon here, and it's going to take something out. Yeah, this is perfect. I wanted to spec because look, look, this is going to be like 35. 30? Oh, damn, it doesn't 2 kill. out. Um, that's a problem. All right, we'll go Golurk now. Um, double back. Yeah, this is fine. He's scared of the trick, so we just gotta catch the double. He goes Clef. Oh damn, okay. Um Cinderace. Protect? Why would he protect? Okay, I guess. Um, we'll bulk up. On the wish. Well, okay. Um We're gonna bulk up again, predicting the hip out on. Yeah, that's amazing. And now we can just go for the pyro ball here to do as much damage as we can do. And it's gonna do like 65. He goes 70. Okay, and he can't kill us with Earthquake. He whirlwinds us. In the no, he gets Mandibuzz. Damn it. That's really unfortunate. That's the one thing you couldn't well into. Okay, we'll go McGurney here. And now, again, um, we're going to Focus Blast here, predicting Chansey. Yeah. He goes Venusaur. Okay, we take that out anyway, and we get plus one. So now he's obligated to go to his Clefable. Um, we're going to predict him to double out, though. You go for, okay, he gets us. He wishes. That's fine. But now he's obligated to teleport. So 
He's probably gonna teleport to the um uh, he doesn't really have a plan to teleport. We're just gonna get Amugus in. Um okay, gotta close that. My bad. Um yeah, now he just goes moon. Okay. Um he's surely gonna go to the man base here, so let's force some damage on that. Alright, now we can get the He knocks us off. Okay. That's fine. Because we could just trick here. And we'll get the boots. So yeah. And he goes hip out on. Okay, I'll take the leftovers and floor cannon here. It might take it out, honestly. It does take it out. Yeah, that's amazing. 80%. So yeah, we're just showing how strong Spex is. And he forfeits now. So yeah, good game. McGurna just carried us there. Really nicely done um, on my part, my eyes. I think he got me in a couple trick turns in the middle, but I was able to persevere and keep the pressure up, which is really important against these bulky teams. So you guys said you like the games where I just kind of take down stall, like systematically kind of like that. And that was just a prime example of that. You just have to keep up pressure, never let in. Sometimes it requires some out of the comfort aggression, aggressive play, admittedly, but for me, I'm so used to playing stall that playing against it just comes more natural. So yeah, if you guys are struggling with stall, my personal recommendation would simply be to use a stall team of your own, get used to how you play it, get better at it. It might take you a couple hundred games, honestly. It might take you days or even weeks. It took me a while. It took me months and learning under Eo and Mortis, who's probably one of the best stall players, but eventually I got the hang of it. And now I feel really comfortable playing with and against stall. And it's kind of improved my game drastically. So yeah. Because you also see like long-term balance games a lot better once you do that. So that's like, if you guys are, like casual players, but like, you have the anti-stall thing in your veins pretty much, which I totally get the sentiment. Try using stall. I, I know it sounds counterproductive and maybe less fun, but the long term, that investment is going to pay off drastically just because you're going to get better at piloting it, but also playing against it. You're going to find new ways to generate win conditions and openings against these teams. Anyway, we're against a team that has Mian Xiao on a bulky offensive team here. It's pretty cool. We're going to want to keep Mian Xiao, oh, Magirna, and or Dragapult healthy. As for leads, we're going to lead Golurk. I'm hoping he leads. He leads a zoom roll. Okay. Um, we're going to go Mungus here. Hopefully he doesn't Belladrum off the bat. He just knocks. That's perfect because now we know he's not going to be Belladrumming here. I mean, he's probably scared of us sitting with like a choice band attack. So he goes to support. He goes uh, Manda Buzz. Um, we're just going to go Sludge Bomb here. I'd love to get a poison on this. Yeah, okay. That's actually delightful. And he reveals his foul play too. So now we can go Magirna on the U-turn. And we're still able to live an Aqua Jet from this range. Yeah, and he goes Marowak. Um, we're just going to go Manda Buzz. I don't want to risk him. He's Flare Blitz. Okay, we could have ulted, but now we know. We'll boost here because it's safe. Um... Wait, why is he taking recoil? Well, okay, we'll just roost again. Yeah, okay. Um, if that's how you want to do it, we'll just take him out. We can save this for later, potentially. Um, we're probably quicker than his man of us, and maybe the Magirna, so that's helpful. In worst case scenario, we have fodder too. So I don't know why he was not on Lightning Rod. He was Lightning Rod, I mean. Anyway, we've got a great Catalyst and Amoongus, so we're just going to go to it. He U-turns. So yeah, it's going to be annoying with U-turns, but we can ultimately limit the amount of actual damage it does. As he goes Diggersby, I don't think this can actually take us out, so we're just going to go Spore. It's, yeah, okay, that's banned and it still doesn't take us out. Now we could get in Golark, that's great, too. So he might go Mandibuzz, that's fine with me. Um, he stays in, okay, that's beautiful. Um, we're gonna trick the Mandibuzz now, he stays in. Okay, we just got the Silk Scarf, and he's Flame Orb. Um, that's interesting. We're just gonna Earthquake then. And yeah, he could Earthquake, that seems like 75, but now he gets Flame Orb, which is great, because now we can do here is we can go to the Amoongus, live any hit, and then pivot right back out for more Regenerator. So he's gonna probably go for the, um, He's going to go for the Earthquake here predicting Golurk, so we're going to just go to Mandibuzz. And yeah, now we're going to predict the um, the normal move, so we'll go um, to Magirna. And now he's going to go for the Earthquake, so we're going to go back to Amoongus to get Regenerator. He goes Mag Kick and he misses, that's even better. Now we could stay in here in theory, and we're just going to do that, yeah, so we're going to go for the, yeah. And that's how you kind of preserve your Pokemon, you just got to be aggressive with plays like that. And now we're in a position where he can't even like go for Belly Drum yet, so he goes to his Magirna. So that's going to mean we're going to go out to the Magirna of our own here. And just Flash Cannon. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and trick it to Specs immediately. Actually, it might be Assault, but so we're just going to Volt Switch. No, it's not. Okay, we're going to go like then, predicting him to Volt. And yeah, we caught that. That's amazing. And now we're just going to go ahead and go for um, a Stealth Rock here. He's going to stay in and kill us, but that's fine because now our Cinderace comes in. And we could just click Pyro Ball. And so long as we don't miss, this is in a great position. We take it out. Yup, that's great. He can go ahead and go Azumarill, but it's not going to be able to take us out with one Aqua Jet. Um, because of that, we're going to go for... Um, do we want to bulk up here? Hold up. We have some HP on this Cinderace. We have um, yeah, 32, because you don't need max speed if you're adamant. 32. Azumarill at plus 6 is doing... But we're fighting type if we bulk up. And then we're plus 1 defense. 
So yeah, we're actually gonna bulk up here. And he play up. He predicted the bulk up. That was a good play. Because what else was that predicting? We're never going Dragapult. That was a really cool play predicting that. I'll give him that. We're gonna Volt Switch here though. It should take this out. It doesn't. It's a Salt Vest. Okay, so we can just go on Moongus and Wallet then. Yeah, no. Um, I saw no reason why not to just go for Sludge Bomb here. He can't kill us. Yeah. That's a really. This explains why it was so weak with Knock Off and not Choice Bandit or Belly Drop. Okay, so that, that kind of explains everything. Anyway, now we can just go Mandibuzz here. And he goes knock. Okay, that's chill. Um, is this Scarf? Even if it's Scarf, I don't think he kills us in one hit. We're just going to go for the Dragon Fang. Yeah. And that takes us out. That's great. Now Mandibuzz is the last man standing, and I don't think he can beat our Maguna. So this looks great, guys. Um, another win here. Good game. Um, we're going to get another two or three games. But yeah, Golurk, um, it hasn't been amazing, but it has carried his way thus far. But more importantly, Specs Maguna. My, oh my. Um... But yeah, um, I'm really liking the Golurk set, even if it's kind of niche, even if it's kind of like, eh, you're not going to get that much consistency out of it. it. Might not even come safely some games. It's really cool in this build in particular. So definitely going to drop this import in the um, movie description so you guys can check it out yourselves, because I'm always curious to see what you guys think of these teams and these Pokemon. But on top of that, um, in terms of what you guys think, you guys have been so active in the comments lately. I've been engaging with all of you. I make it my initiative to try and respond to every single person. And so long as I'm getting subscribers, I'm going to keep doing that, be it if I'm at 3K or 5K or maybe even 7K and beyond. Um, just as a bit of a channel update, we hit 3,000 subscribers recently. We're already above 3.1K. Um, I'd love to hit 5,000 at some point in early to mid-July. So if we could keep rising, keep watching these videos, keep subscribing, and, you know, find um, find your friends and let them know if they're into competitive Pokemon. We've got, like, the OU leader. Um, no... Question mark? Who is this? Um, I don't know who this is. Looks like using an old team, though. Um, who is this? But anyway, um, let me know what you're thinking in the comments always. And also, um, I appreciate the uptick in views, and especially to all my subscribers, but apparently about 45% of my viewers are not currently subscribed. So um, if you guys, you know, the, the three to 600 of you that watched any given video could maybe consider subscribing, that would mean the world to me. I'm trying to put out consistent content, at least one video or two videos every single day, if not three. So, yeah, and a lot of stuff on SSU and relevant competitive Pokemon stuff. And also, I'm just kind of adapting to what you guys are saying in the comments a lot. You guys want to know stuff on, like, the Pokemon types and the Pokemon are good in the metagame. Um, Packed Light. Oh, this is the dude that, like, spammed the chat in another one. Okay, hopefully it's quiet. We're going we're gonna to leave Golic here. Looks pretty fresh to lead. Hopefully it'll packs our Clef so we get a trick off turn one. I'm trying to force him out. But, yeah, um, that aside, it was... um. Really cool that we have this support, but I'd love to gain some more subscribers. So shout out to everyone for the support thus far, but let's keep it going. He's going to lead with Clef. Yeah, we're just going to trick turn one. Oh, damn. Sticky Barb? Well, okay. I don't mind tricking that either. We're just going to Poltergeist here, I guess. Um, You know what? Yeah. Oh, he vo okay. That's unfortunate. We're just going to trick here. This guy's annoying. Yeah, this is really annoying. Um, We'll just go on Mungus, I guess. Uh, that was not an ideal lead, though. And this person's mad obnoxious, because that would have easily took you out. He doesn't go mad about here. We'll just spore just in case. He goes, like, Hawk Specs or Dragapult for some reason. Son of a gun, he went. Okay. All right, we'll just go McGuinney. Yeah. And now we'll go for the, um... It's Klutz. He goes... Okay, he goes Drill. All right, this guy is playing weird. Um... He goes Zero Aura now. All right, you know what? We're just going to go for the uh, Defog. He's not going to go for the Electric Move. Yeah, he goes Sub. All right, we'll Foul Play. It might be Sub Combined. Um, knock us off. Okay. Now we're going to go on Moongus, predicting the Electric Move as he sees us staying in. He goes Clef, though. All right, we're just going to go um, Sludge Bomb here to punish the rocks. Yeah. We'll keep going Sludge Bomb in case he, he, he steals up for some reason. Instead, he goes to Pex or Drill. He goes Pex. All right, so now we're going to go to Golurk here and get our rocks above our own. Yup, that's great. Okay, Clef. And yeah, this is going to die to Poltergeist if we connect. Um, yeah, takes it out. Okay, yeah, we're facing like a whole group of Kekkers. We're just going to um, ignore opponent. Yup, that's much better. I just don't feel like dealing with this nonsense. So yeah, he goes there, or we can go back to Amoongus, which is just a counter to it practically. Um, he's probably going to double to Mandibuzz or Pex. Um, we're going to go McGear not expecting that. Yeah, we catch the packs. Okay, now we're going to go for a Specs Volt Switch, which is going to do big damage. Um, I can't imagine he goes Drill again. Yeah, okay, well, great. We reveal Specs there. And we're going to go Golik here. 
He sco- oh, he wakes up and scalds. Okay, that's unfortunate. But now we know he's special defensive, so he can go Cinderace. And um, we're going to bulk up because then Headbutt kills us for sure. He goes Mandibuzz. All right. And now we could go for a Pyro Ball on this turn. So it's really helpful getting that out. Oh, when we we miss on the foul play, that's... Man, you're really lucky. All right, we're going to go Focus Blast here predicting the drill. We catch it and we connect. All right, so we've just outplayed this man like every single turn. But he's gotten lucky in every single turn himself. So that's really unfortunate. We'll go Mandibus here though. Should be able to live any two non effects hits. Hopefully. U turns. Okay. That's going to invite into Zero Aura. We're going to go Mungus now. He goes Plasma. Okay. Um, We'll just go Sludge Bomb. We get the po 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 poison there. Now we're going to go for a Spore here. A Brave Birds. Okay. That's fine. We're going to. Go ahead and predict the U-turn here, or the Roost here, and go Mandibuzz. He goes Roost. Okay, now we could Roost up here. That's great. He goes Zero Aura. Now we're going to go ahead and um, U-turn here. He's not going to Plasma Fist. I don't think he does. Okay, that's chill, though, because we still have our, we don't have our item. Damn it. Um, all right, I fucked that up. I go Mungus, though. Um, he's going to probably just go to the Mandibuzz. So we're going to double the Maguna now. Yeah, and now what we do here is we're going to go for a, uh, a Volt Switch. Yeah, predicting the packs. He goes Pax. Okay, that's great. Now we can go Cinderace here. And we're just going to go for a uh, Zen Headbutt, predicting to stay in. Mandibuzz is a good player for them, but I don't think they're going to do it. I think they're going to stay. Because we bulked up last time. Yeah. Um, this is a big turn. Because we've gotten really unlucky, so we've kind of fell a little behind. And he goes Mandibuzz. Damn it. All right. Um, we're going to go Maguna then. They go Roost. Okay, that's great. Now we're going to predict them to not go Pax, and we're going to go Flare Cannon. He goes Pax. Okay, maybe this two kills? No. Damn it. Um, we'll go Amoongus here. He's probably going to go um, back to Mandibus, so we'll go Maguna. Yeah, okay, we catch that. Um, we'll go Volt Switch here. He goes Pax. Okay, there we go. Right back to where we were. Um, and this is 76. We're going to go Powerball this time, predicting the Mandibus. Um, oh, he stayed and he recovered. Okay, that's really unfortunate. Um, we'll just bulk up. Yeah, knockoff does nothing. So now he's probably going to go Mandibuzz. We're going to go Zen Headbutt, though. He goes Mandibuzz. All right, please connect this time because it should kill because we're adamant. He lives. He's like max physical defense. Yeah, damn. And he lives at one. Oh, no. All right, it's fine. Now we can go ahead and go for the um, Dragon Darts here. He goes Pex, though. And that's going to be a two kill. See, I don't know why I did that. He's like really, 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 um, especially defensive. So, yeah, I don't know why I did that at all. Um, that was a really poor play by the opponent. Um, now he fires off Mandibuzz. That's great. Um, hmm. He's probably going to go Zero Aura. Yeah. Um, now we could go Amoongus freely. He knocks off. Okay, that's great. Now we're going to just um, sleep here. Is he subs? Well, okay, we're going to Spore again. He knocks. Okay, now we're just going to Giga Drain. Sure. Why the hell not? We'll break this up for sure. And yeah, that does nothing. So we'll just, um, we'll get drain again. Yeah, why not? I mean, that's what we want to do, buddy. And I'm fine with that. He goes Pex. Yeah, um, we'll just spore here. He burns. Okay, that's unfortunate. But now we can go McGurney here. Yeah, and now we're just going to go for the Specs Vault switch. He goes Zero Aura. Good play. We'll throw away Mandibuzz. Plasma Fist. Okay. Yeah, I wish he didn't get the burn there. That's fine. We'll just spam Giga Drain here. Um, he goes Pex. Okay, now we're going to go Giga Drain again. Yeah, he can't really do much to us damage-wise, so we can just spore here. Now we'll go Dragapult. Don't switch. He switched. Damn it. Um, really lucky, this guy, um, early on. We're just going to Giga Drain here, I guess. He goes Dragapult. Yeah, we got to let go of um, Maguna, I guess. Maybe he can't do a Chaos. He goes Hex, yeah. Okay, so it's going to be a speed tie here. We need to win this tie to have a chance. Come on. Give me the tie. He throws away Pex? I don't know about that one, buddy. Um, yeah, he goes knockoff here. We're just going to go Giga Drain on the sub, hopefully. Um, all right, we Giga Drain. But yeah, no, okay. We, um, we're in range now, shit. Um, we'll support here in case he... Yeah, no, this guy just got really lucky. Um, it's unfortunate. Um, all right, that's fine. Let's get another game, though. We'll end off with a win. I mean, if he didn't get any of them, if he didn't get the first miss, then we just won the game on the spot. But yeah, that was a really unfortunate game because I feel like I played that really well up until the end when he got a turn or two right. 
So that's kind of what frustrates me about the ladder and why I kind of made that Satoko video about um, the people using on the ladder. Um, but yeah, no, that guy was also like really obnoxious. He said yay after the miss. And we also missed Paul to guys. So we hit that Paul to guys we won too. But yeah, lost in the maze. All right. Um, 1852, probably about where we are. 1872, but yeah, it's before that loss. All right, we're going to go ahead and leave Golik here. Hoping for the Como, Clef, or Magirna, I guess. Barring specs Magirna. I don't think he specs on this. This actually looks like a team I built with like 5 out of 6. He's got some. Oh, yeah, like Rotom Heat over Cinderace, I think. And we've got like T Wave on Clef. But yeah, I think he's probably different. Um, we'll wait and see. I think this is probably like a fresh built team just because it's a pretty common Pokemon. So I'm definitely not going to like say, oh, no, I built this. I built this. This is my team. Because, you know, screw that mentality. It's stupid. Everyone can build whatever they want. And if it's from someone else, it doesn't matter. You still get the credit for playing it. So, yeah. I just hate, like, that owner's mentality, if you will. I think that, like, goes a step far. Like, taking ownership in one se sense is good because you could, like, explain things. But in other sense, it's kind of, like, BS because, like, anyone could use whatever they want, basically. So, yeah. Um, oh, he's hiding the replay. And this man's locked. Okay, interesting. I definitely want to beat down this man. I'm beating down the bad guys of Pokemon Showdown, guys. Rest assured. Um, But, yeah, this is probably going to be the last battle showing Golurk off. Um, hmm. He's taking forever here. Not really sure why. Um, maybe he's looking at my replays. I don't know. I've had a couple people do that before, so I wouldn't be shocked. Um, but nothing will stop you from taking Wrath of Golark, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I'd love for you know Team Preview to maybe pop up and stop close and for Leech to pop up. That'd be really cool. You know, if you could, or you could just timer stall all day. If he's actually timer stalling me because he knows he's recording, I'm recording. That'd kind of be lame. But yeah, okay, he clicks. That's great. Cinderace, um, I don't think it's banded. I'm just going to go ahead and go for the um, trick here, predicting U-turn and Amanda Buzz. So yeah, um, yeah, he goes U-turn. All right, that, we're going to catch the Amanda Buzz. That's great. Or the Como, I guess. If he's expecting like a choice banded like Iron Fist Thunder Punch. But Iron uh, Ice Punch would make more sense. Although actually Ice Punch and the Cinderace kind of sketch. So yeah, I, I one of those two. He goes Amanda Buzz. All right, that's perfect. We're going to trick it. Then boots are up. We're going to go to our um, Amoongus now. Yeah. Pretty dope. He foul plays. All right. Um, we're just going to spore here on the U-turn, hopefully. Um, he doesn't really gain much in staying in, besides just wasting his PP. So, yeah. He roosts. All right. Well, um, we'll spore one more time here. This hopefully goes just foul play again. He's taking more more damage than he deals with that. So, it's kind of like a way to force sleep with the um, Flame Orb. So, despite Flame Orb inflicting stats on something else... It actually is going to help our uh, sleeping setter. So, yeah, he's going to... Yeah, okay, watch. Now, look how low he is. And now that he's this low, we can go out to our Magirna here. And we can just click Voltage because he's got no ground type, which is like, something that's increasingly common. We're seeing, like, less size of a Toad and hip out on. He does 65. Oh, my God. And we're just going to go on Moongus here as so he U-turns and kills himself. Yeah, that's amazing how that worked. Why would he be slower than Aegis slash Mandibuzz on a team with no other Ghost Resist? So, that's just a poor team choice on his path. And that worked out wonderfully for us. Yeah. Specs Magirna is just going absolutely off in this game. Um, he goes Como here. All right. Um, we're just going to go out to Dragapult here. I don't want to risk him being like a setup set. Yeah, okay. He's now going to go to one of his fire types. So we're just going to go U-turn on this point. Um, I don't see any reason why not to. He goes Clef. That's perfect. Now we can go out to um, Golurk. It's heavy duty boots. And we can just set up our rocks. Yeah. Keep them on both sides at least. And we can also Poltergeist this afterwards. And we might live two Moonblasts in a row. We saw before it was doing like 37, 39. All right, he goes Como. Um... We're just going to pull together this. Yeah, I don't think Earthquake into a Chaos. I don't know what else it would be doing. It looks like it's a defensive rocker, so yeah. Um, I'm just going to stay. I, I don't see a reason. This he goes Zam? Why would he go Zam? We just took it out in one hit. All right. This man was predicting, like, Amoongus, I guess. So we just absolutely clobbered him. He goes Kamo. I don't see a reason to switch. If you could let me know of one, that'd be great. But we're just picking things off with Golik here. Yeah, Earthquake does 28, and we're doing 37. All right, so now we're doing so much less than that. We're going to go to Mandibus here. On the top, that was a good play by the opponent. That's like the first good play he made, but it's a little too little, a little too late because his Zam is dead, so taxing this isn't a big deal. Now we go right back to this, and we're just going to hit him with Poltergeist again because it's going to Tukyo the Clef with ease, and it would also Tukyo the come off after Stealth Rock despite leftovers. So yeah, um, it's pretty much forcing shit. And yeah, I mean, that's going to be Tukyo. I don't see a reason why not to t go for it here. And yeah, so we've gotten two kills and a trick off this game. Golik is just going absolutely crazy. We're not going to risk this being bulk up. We're just going to go ahead and go for a Poltergeist here. He take oh, he misses. Wow, really lucky for us. My bad. Um, now we'll go Mandibuzz on the part. It's Bandit? Why did it do that much? It's Blaze. 
Why is it Blaze? What in the world am I witnessing right now? Um, whatever. We're just going to go ahead and go for the Steel Wing. Does it take it out? It's going to take it out. I've decided it's going to take him out. Or he's going to clap. Either or. Yeah. Um, I don't know why it's Blaze Cinderace. That's kind of funny. Funny way to end it. He goes clap. That's perfect. Yeah. And still, we get a defense raise as well in case it's Sucker Punch Cinderace, which is cool. And we're going to be able to trick his Magirna to set up variant as well, which is helpful. Yeah, we'll Tokyo that. He goes Magirna. Okay, we're not going to mess around. We're just going to go ahead and trick it. Just because. He might go. Yeah, he doesn't. Okay, yeah. And to see, this is what I mean by there's so many ways that like, are immediately able to stop these setup Magirna sets. Because just running a random trick user, and there are plenty of them out there. And trick is at his all-time peak this generation. It just completely resolves the issue. As you can see here. And now we can just go ahead, go to our, um, oh, actually, wait. A bulk up here, just to, so you can see, he's rocks and draining kiss. Okay. Um, I wanted to win the game with Golik, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that because he might be quicker. So we're just going to Pyroball here. Yeah. So it's going to be a good game. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was really cool showing up Golik. In this game in particular, it did amazing work. But yeah, um, thank you so much for all the support in 3K lately. we got a new series coming up Monday. It's going to be a weekly thing. And again, if you like this, be sure to like the video and leave your thoughts in the comments. And last but not least, a subscription would mean the world to me, guys. Let's hit 5K real soon. All right, guys. Have a great night. Peace.